intrapreneurship. Ah, sasa si hii udiscuss na huyo neighbor yako uone kama university yao anasoma vizuri. Ama ni huko tu ni kuanguka nayo. What does entrepreneurship mean? Na hakuna kutumia simu. Hizo simu nitawanyanganya hizo simu. Intrapreneurship. Ukiona mtu na simu uniite. Yenye nasikia watu wa campus ni hatari sana. Mimi ni hatari kuwaliko. <laughs> Sifa zenu zimenifikia. <laughs> Atizama mnataka kugugu siyo chat GPT ni tazima hiyo internet. All right, let me have a volunteer move the mic. We hear from every table or a few tables on what uh, entrepreneurship is all about. You can use my mic. Uh, my name is Michael Wari Rongo. Uh, pursuing Bachelor of Science Computer Science Multimedia University and my my perspective concerning entrepreneurship is uh, where you are working, let's say, in a, an organization, but you are given opportunity to develop your own idea and uh, contribute to the general growth of the business. Yeah. Let's clap for him. Uh, somebody wants to add perspective? Somebody who has something compelling to ask here, Jamaa, Ajagonga, Dipo. Unataka ku challenge this guy? <laughs> wow, thank you. First of all, I support your idea. But I can add on that. Uh, I'm dealing with City Reality Hub as a real estate company. Uh, it's a startup. We registered this year in um, around March, April. I didn't have the idea. But I brought, I brought uh, my skills and my knowledge on it. And I became the managing director of that company. You get it? Thank you. Someone else? Anguka Nayo. I'm Rita. Uh, entrepreneurship. Um, we can maybe bring it in a company setup where employees in that company they are allowed by that particular company to come up with ideas that are meant to make the company better. Like you are allowed to act as your own uh, business person within a company. Yeah, that's my idea. Can you clap like you're sure she said the... Unajua mreza kosa kumpigia makofi ni mpatie 100,000? Wapiga makofi yama ni... Wazani na makofi. She said a very good thing. You are allowed to act like a business person in another organization. Let's take practical examples. Somebody started a telecom called Safaricom. Isn't it? So where did MPESA come from? Somebody looked at the resources they have mobilized into the telecom and realized Kumbe, now people have started using airtime as a medium of exchange. Mtu wako na kuru, uko na mia yake, hii mia kuipereka na kuru sinihasara. Wana muambia wacha ni kutumia nini? Wacha ni kutumia airtime. And gave Safaricom an idea. Why don't we formalize this model of payment and come up with a product called M-Pesa? You see? A business was existing, somebody comes up and builds up on that idea. That is intrapreneurship. You are already within a business organization, but you are asking yourself, how do we make this business organization better? Do you know, ladies and gentlemen, a company called Toyota? But do you know what Toyota originally was? Do you have a minute I educate you? You have a minute. Toyota was actually originally a textile company. They used to make clothes. Wao walikuwa nangangana kutengeneza vests. So how did they start making vehicles? 
one of the sons of the directors sought to computerize, uh, not computerize, sorry, to mechanize the looming machine, how they were sewing these garments. Okay? And in that process of mechanizing, mechanizing, another child comes and says, we can be able to make an engine that can make a vehicle. And people did not believe in that idea. In fact, if you read the Toyota story, you will realize that people said, kwa sababu huyu ni mtoto wa mdosi, na hatutaki kuonekana ni kama tunapigana na hii familia, wata tumpatia hile rumi na kuanga pale mwisho, ye yafanya hizo experiment zake ya nasema za nini? Za engine. And the son was given a room where now he was doing his experiments with engines. And he actually started a business of motor vehicles that failed. Confirming the fears of the pessimists and the naysayers. The company, the business failed. And one of the children in that family had to go to the US and work for Ford Motor Corporation, learn how they make vehicles and bring the technology to Japan. If you go and read the story of Toyota, it starts that far. It was originally called Toyota. And if you look at the symbol for Toyota, it is actually looking like a needle with a hole where you can pass the thread. Have you ever noted that? It all comes from that idea. So how does it evolve that much? It evolves that much because of this thing called intrapreneurship. Intrap